Welcome in the session. We are going to learn now what is replication in PostgreSQL in Google Cloud, and that is known as the Cloud SQL. And under the hood, it is PostgreSQL. So it's all about the theoretical concepts we are going to learn, but we are not going to do some sort of demo that will be performed in in uh, coming coming sessions. So first thing, what is replication in Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL? So lap, replication, as the word says, it's a process where in a copy of the data is created on some other machine or by some mechanism and that data can be used as uh, as and for some backup purpose so in this case when we say replication in PostgreSQL that means an another copy of PostgreSQL instance will be created and that is used to offload the work on the primary instance so replication is just another copy of PostgreSQL instance wherein we can perform some type of operation for example we have to be very specific in this we are saying in this case we are saying it is a read only operation on the on the replicated instance of postgresql in google cloud so uh, some some basic question over here why do we need a, a replication so by uh, by replication you can scale uh, the data for postgresql uh, without compromising the performance or the availability of your postgresql instance so in that case there will be another copy of that that data and that can be used to offload the work so when we say offload the work to the replica that means it is just the read operations which can be performed on to the replica not the write uh, right uh, uh, right uh, uh, application sorry not the right on the on the primary uh, instance of PostgreSQL so we will be talking about two terms one is primary SQL instance and the another is the replica copy which is a replication instance in this case and that is known as the read only copy and also known as replica so the one where in read and write operations both can happen that is known as the primary postgresql instance and the another where read only uh, operations can happen or the analytical uh, read operations can happen that is known as the replica so primary instance and replica instance so this replica instance can be used in many scenarios uh, it can be like you are migrating your uh, data between uh, different regions which are geographically uh, apart and you can have the migration of PostgreSQL data across the platform. You can uh, migrate data between on-premises and to the uh, cloud SQL. And, uh, <clears throat> and one of the important fact about the PostgreSQL replica is uh, it can be promoted uh, the way your original po PostgreSQL instance, right? In this, in case there is an availability of primary instance, just assume this case, there is a primary PostgreSQL uh, managed instance in Google Cloud and you create a replica of that and due to some reason, your primary uh, PostgreSQL becomes uh, unavailable. In that case, your replica can be promoted and it will work like your primary instance. So that is one of the good thing about the read replicas. When required, it can be promoted as the uh, the primary instance. Okay, the uh, the instance. So uh, we already talked about the primary instance, the uh, read only or replica instance. So the primary is the one which caters the all requirement of the application read and write and replicas are just the ones wherein only read operations can happen. So what are the criteria? Your source, your source can be on-premises PostgreSQL uh, uh, instance and uh, your, uh, your uh, read-only uh, replicas or your replica can be there in the, uh, uh, can be there in the cloud uh, SQL for PostgreSQL. So this way it can work. And uh, to perform this kind of uh, operation wherein uh, you wanted to continuously replicate the data from on premises to the PostgreSQL instance, which is there in the Google Cloud known as Cloud SQL. You can uh, rely on a, a service which is provided by uh, a Google Cloud, which is known as DMS, Database Migration Services. So using Database Migration Services, you can perform one-time load and uh, continuous replication can happen. 
So it's just uh, some more detail about what is a read replica. So read replica is just an exact copy of your primary instance, which is catering the need of read and write for your application. And your read replica will be used for offloading the work. For example, the application can connect to it so to perform the read only operations, nothing else apart from this. So, read replicas are uh, uh, read only and you cannot write to them. So, you can have the read uh, replica process uh, the queries, you can perform the read request, you can have the analytic, analytical traffic uh, over there. So, this is going to reduce the, uh, the load on the primary instance, right? And one of the important facts about the hardware uh, requirement of your uh, PostgreSQL, which is your read replica. We have to ensure that uh, read only uh, the replicas, which is there uh, for the read only operations, the CPU and the memory, it should uh, never be lesser than your primary instance. Either it will be equal or it should be more than that. In case you are trying to use the read replica, you have to use the uh, connection string of the read replica. That means the IP address, which is referring to the uh, PostgreSQL instance of, uh, of a read replica. And there is something called as cross region read replica. So that's another feature which is available in PostgreSQL wherein you can create a cross region. That means a region which is geographically geographically completely apart from your uh, base location so wherever your primary instance is residing you can create a read-only uh, uh, replica in a geographically uh, different region which is which is called as the cross region read replica so using the cross region read replica in case your application uh, uses that particular region so instead of crossing several regions to access your primary instance for read only operation you can keep one copy of the replica over there one replica near to the user's base location so when it when the user's base location and the region is in the same same location the, your uh, throughput and uh, uh, your throughput will be better and it is going to help a lot so cross region uh, replicas are really doing great because you can have n number of read replicas required depending upon your requirement so there is one more replication which is there in PostgreSQL which is called as the logical replication. So Cloud SQL it enables you to configure your own uh, replication uh, solution which is using the PostgreSQL logical replication feature. So in case you wanted to rely on particular tables you wanted to replicate it in that case you can uh, use the logical replication. So uh, we will see the, uh, there is a detail which is mentioned over here as well. So if you talk about the read uh, replicas, uh, your primary can be, your primary will be in your uh, cloud SQL instance and the replica will be there in the cloud SQL instance. That means both will be there in the uh, cloud SQL managed instance for PostgreSQL. What is the benefit? Uh, it is going to increase your uh, read efficiency so that the read will happen on, on an additional replica and this is going to give you better uh, read outputs it can be used for the analytical targets also for your uh, uh, the read replica if in case you are going to use the cross region read replicas so in the in this case also your primary and the read replica both has to be part of your cloud sql that means both of them will be managed instance and uh, uh, like your uh, read replicas it is going to help uh, you in additional read capacity it can be used for, as a analytical target it is it can be used as the additional uh, dr capability in case your primary uh, postgresql managed instance is not available your read replica can be promoted as the primary and uh, this is going to help you in your uh, dr capability and uh, uh, this also helps in migrating the data between regions if it is already available so you can you can use it for the migration purpose so the, the last in this series is the logical replication you so you can have any postgresql instance you can have uh, uh, any uh, any uh, version you can have the replication from outside the uh, cloud sql that means you don't need to be 
there in PostgreSQL instance in Cloud SQL, you can have it outside as well. In case you wanted to replicate uh, uh, data at the granular level, let's say you wanted to replicate the table data or uh, some subset of the table, then you can use the logical replication. So this is just the concept uh, concept about the replication in Postgre in Google Cloud. So uh, just a recap, you can use, I think, I believe there are 10 read replicas that can be created in PostgreSQL in Google Cloud. And you, you have the cross region read replicas also available. On top of that, uh, you can use the logical replication in case you wanted to replicate particular tables or subset uh, of the data in a table, then you can use that as well. So I hope uh, the basics about the replication in cloud SQL uh, will help you. And